The common perception that vegan diets are deficient in key nutrients was dispelled, to some extent, by German researchers of this study. They analysed vegan diets and found no widespread deficiencies in calcium, zinc, selenium or iron among those eating a plant-based diet. The vegan test subjects did have lower values than the mixed food group that included meat for the minerals zinc, selenium and calcium. However, a general deficiency of the three minerals was not observed in the vegan group. This also applied to iron, of which the mixed food volunteers had about the same amount in their blood. However, when it came to iodine, both the vegans and meat eaters were deficient. One third of the vegan group had values below 20 micrograms per litre. Anything below this value is considered to be a severe iodine deficiency. To succeed on a vegan diet, we tend to have to work slightly harder than meat eaters to make sure we're getting enough of the key nutrients to maintain good health. Are there particular blood tests vegans should be asking for? Well, let's hear from registered dietitian Brenda Davis and plant-based medical doctor, Dr. Michael Clapper. If I could have a wish list or a dream list, I think I would love to see B12. I would love to see vitamin D. I would love to see homocysteine. That gives you a better indication of B12 than just serum B12. And MMA would be even better for B12, but often that's not done. I would love to see a level of inflammation. So a um, high sensitivity CRP test. And then of course, it's always good to get your iron levels done. So usually it's hemoglobin, hematocrit and serum ferritin. So those probably are the key ones that are done. Definitely, you can look at thyroid function. And that can give you an indication of iodine status because often if you're low in iodine, it affects your thyroid function. Or if you're very high in iodine, you're eating a ton of seaweed, that can affect your thyroid function as well. Once a year, I have folks get a blood count, a metabolic profile for liver and kidney function, check their thyroid, make sure they're getting enough iodine, check their B12 level, and if, and if they don't have enough, then these things called MMA and homocysteine goes up, check their vitamin D. And if there are people who are just not thriving after a year, I'll send off a fatty acid profile, maybe a mineral profile, and an amino acid profile because I get the folks who aren't doing well, Doc, I think I need more protein. And my friends are all telling me I'm not getting enough protein, no wonder I feel bad. There is so much protein in a whole food plant-based diet. The beans and peas and chickpeas and lentils and seeds and nuts and quinoa, we have protein out the wazoo. I've never really seen a protein deficient vegan per se. But if you want to find out, then you can find out maintain a completely squeaky clean plant-based diet for at least three months, six months is even better, and then have your chiropractor naturopath order an amino acid profile, see what your amino acids are after six, three to six months on a completely plant-based diet, and then if you're inclined, go have a debauch, eat, eat, eat some animal flesh uh, for five days running, seven days running, and then repeat the same amino acid profile and see if anything's changed. If there has been a big increase in a particular amino acid, see if you can get, maybe get there are plants that have that. Maybe you just need to eat more lentils or something like that. But if you want to find out, is it protein deficient? You can find out, but it's seldom protein as an issue. As I said, it's usually iodine, it's usually omega-3 fatty acid, it's usually B12. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.